the China's first uh, business plan competition. Editor-in-chief, so you have a lot in common, see, with Mike, of China Technology Magazine, not to mention the author and translator of many books. Uh, Brad, uh, you know, fresh data, first quarter, you know, report with Hong Kong capital industry. But before I get started, you know, I want to, you know, full ROE. You know, Zero Type EO is founded, was founded in, back in 1999. We are the leading provider of information on own channel venture capital and the private equity market. And besides that, we also mean a lot of you know, private placement, private placement and M&A advisory, as, as well as the conference where you are attending here. So, how we get our data? So, thanks for this great support from the you know peers in China. Our you know we send our Quarterly, uh, we send a quarterly survey to most 95% uh, of the most active VC in China. That's we get the data, or even the data. And we have, day to day, we have extensive interviews with VCs. So every day, I meet with entrepreneur, either entrepreneur or you know, investor. Now we have more LPs to come to China. And in the last five, six years, we have created in the only China Winter database, which was you know broadly used and code both in China and outside of China, even the Business Week or Oxford Journal. So here's the first slide. So if you look back, you know the, the the last five quarters, we will see the the stream of you know capital, many capital funds to China, not back in the. 150 years ago, the European flow to China allow its uh, venture capital, <laughs> allow its new funds. So, and not new funds, we said. And in the first quarter of this year, there was nine new funds with total money raised 904 million US dollar. If we compare with same, same period last year, there was three times new funds, and you know 44 person rise on the fundraising. So where the money goes? Actually, the money is put to work, not for relax. So if I see the you know, some slides, even in last year we have SIP regulation, there's still an option in the quarters. And, and this year, the first quarter, we have 42 investment, total money 334 million dollars. If we compare the same period of last year, we will see 124% rise in the first quarter. So the market is, is still very, very you know, hard. So now I would like to share with you about the industry breakdown. So I will cover the top three industries. The first is IT, the second is service, the third is healthcare. And here's the money, about 70% of the money goes to the IT. Of course, this is the, you know, the VC made the money in China market. So firstly, look at the IT. 28 investments in Nantara Telecom monitoring other sectors. And 224 million US dollar investment. So that's take about 70% of the money. So I would like to you know, focus on the top two sectors, internet and telecom. But before that, I would like to show with the average. So here's the average deal size for internet, 8.7 million US dollar for every deal, every, every, every deal. So for telecom, it's bigger higher, it's 13.8 million US dollar. So now I would like to share with you the, the two sectors, internet and telecom. So here's the internet. Last year, no, this last quarter, 130 million US dollar in 15 internet companies. So it's take about 40% of total US in China, and 40% of the deals. So the money goes to online community like MySpace here or Facebook here, or you know, in learning some other you know uh, sectors. 
And here's the investment in telecom. 60 land, meaning you have already invested in just five years. Not big compared with the internet. So the internet is the most hot air in China. Now I would like to say the second largest sector that we see for their money in. Service. The, what, which kind of service? Financial service. Carlyle, you must have 225 million US dollars in, a, you know, Hong Kong, in a Shenzhen company. There was some, still some investment in media and retail and applications. So 70 out, 63.5 million US dollars. And here is the average deal size. Uh, now we like to talk about the third largest sector, healthcare. Even though they take about uh, you know seven percent of the deals, we just you know they just three have three deals, five point six million US dollar, pretty small. But I think the healthcare is really under investing in China. So where are the money? What you want? In Shanghai? You know, which, you know, most of the city command we see, you know, center always in Shanghai, but in the, in the, this stays in Shanghai in the weekend. But for this time, the first is the invasion. None. The way the first quarter is 190 percent, 90 million US dollar investing. And 25 years. 60 percent of the deals. 60 percent of the money. So I'm invasion. Welcome. <laughs> so it's actually, you know, it's very interesting. So who is the investor? So in China, you have, you have, you know, the foreign investor, you have, you know, domestic investor. 69% of the money was in, invested by foreign investors. You know, most of them are, you know, you are here. And 66% uh, of the money Investment and foreign investors. If we count about the Lavolo and Legend Capital or you know, New Margin in many US dollar fund, the US dollar fund took about 80% of the money in China. So foreign investor is still the nominator in China we see market. So everyone was interested about the investment stage. I will show you the stage. So in the in the first quarter, 30% of the money goes to the early stage. 50% of the money goes to growth stage, and 20% of the money goes to nature stage. So here's the deal number, 19 to early stage, 19 to growth stage, and, and, and another four goes to the, uh, to the, the nature stage. So here's the, and, and, and it's, you can see the, you know, every deal size, 5.1 million for Early, early stage, 9.4 for growth stage, and 14.7 million for left stage. So let me you know, share with you the last year data. Last year, total investment, 1.07 million US dollar investment in 20 to 20, 228 deals. Every deal size is about uh, uh, 5 million US dollar. But this year, and last year, the early stage investment, every deal size 1.68, growth stage 5 million dollars, and later stage 14.7, uh, later stage 20 million US dollars. So this year, the average deal size for the first quarter is 7.95 million US dollars, 60% growth from last year. So I think the valuation in China now is compared with last year is much higher. So I think most of we see are interested about the exit. So in the from our survey, in the first quarter, not much, not many exit. There's still eight exit. You know, IPO, five IPOs. Most company, most uh, exit from IT. And here's a company that do IPO in the overseas stock market. We have one software company, one telecom company, two health company, healthcare company, two NASDAQ. This time. So I have shared with you all our data. And now I would like to share with you my three observations. First, 
which capital still continues to flow into China and is getting to invest in and resulting in more and more you know, oversubscribed IPOs, properties IPOs. Secondly, the current trends. We are continue with internet and internet media and telecom while well, leading the way, but healthcare, green energy, and uh, branded consumerism has called an emerging market. So we'll see this year. Last year, I forecast there was there will be one million, one hundred million US dollar in media, and it's reached the goal. And this year, I forecast there will be around one hundred million US dollar investment in healthcare. You won't see, we don't see. But we want our data. I hope our data will support our forecast. And uh, thirdly, not in the US, there will be you know a lot of competitions because we have you know. So top tier VC in China, we have the VC here to invest in China for the best deals, but the growth of new adverse and companies is appalling. And not only you know my team are doing that, are setting their firms and raising money from Mayfield, from a lot of VCs here. So I'm ready to say a lot of you know the, the adverse turnout in in China. So. And my last uh, slides. So I think actually in the past two months, a lot of LPs, VCs and firms ask me the, the same, and also the media reporters ask me the same question. And Gavin, is, is there really an overheating in VC in China? You know, actually, I have you know no other words better than this picture to share with you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, Gavin. We're going to take it off, Catherine, and we're going to take a 60-second stretch break.